Hey guys, it's Jack and welcome back to another Pinbox Jack video and today I have got a little box of goodies. These are all pins I got at the recent Pin Sane Pins event in Bolton. Uh, it's my second sort of pin trading event that I've been to and I was planning to record the full day. I was only there on the Sunday uh, just because other things on the Saturday uh, and unfortunately I just forgot to record anything. Um, by the time I realised, I'd, I'd just been having too much fun, to be honest, uh, pin trading. So I thought instead I would do a bit of a pin haul, what I've traded for, some cool new pins that I've got. And I have got some exciting ones. There's some that finish off series. There are some that will go towards my um, one pin per movie. There's a few other sort of sets and stuff that I've collected here. And yeah, I'm very excited. First of all, I'm going to show you off the little pin saying pin badge featuring I got the... Um, the lion from Bed on Spruce Sticks, the, the King Lion, who I lo love Bed on Spruce Sticks uh, that much, is probably quite known. But there's little, little, there's an actual like sticky onion lapel type pin badge, which was very cool. So let's start off with I'm just going to try and organise my pins into some sort of logical order. There isn't a logical order with these, I'm going to be right back there. I didn't really go in with much in terms of pins I wanted to get, maybe Fab 50 and um, Muppets Character Connections, and I only came out with, with one of those. Uh, but let's start off with... Ooh, where to, where to start off, actually? Let's start off with that, and the, the, Muppet, the um, Muppets Haunted Mansion Character Connections pins. This is the only one I got from this series, and it's... Um, one of the puzzle piece things, uh, LE700, and this is Kermit and Miss Piggy, it's one of the corner pieces, uh, dressed up as each other. I love Haunted Mansion, I've got the Haunted Mansion Mystery Series and I've got the Muppets one as well, so Haunted Mansion, the Muppets Haunted Mansion one was an absolute logical one for me. But yeah, very, very cool, and I'm really looking forward to trying to finish this series and the other puzzle uh, series as well, but there is the Muppets one. Sticking with the theme of Muppets, I also managed to trade for a Vinyl Nation um, pin, I think it is, and it is, I can never remember which way around they are, but either Statler or Waldorf, which is just a cool little pin. I saw this really early on into the, really early on into the day and then forgot where I'd seen it. It's been basically like two thirds of the day looking for it and then found it and right towards the end of the day and it was still there, fortunately. Uh, but yes, very, very cool, and uh, I might try and see if there's any other of these to finish as well. Uh, moving on from the Muppets, he says. Uh, I haven't got any more Muppets, by the way. No. Uh, I'm going to go to... I mean, there is, there is a slight theming to these. I'm going to go to Star Wars next. And this is one I needed to finish from the... I don't know what this series was, but like I needed one pin from it and I needed the uh Boba Fett mini sort of these are like the cuties pins I want to say these were the Star Wars cuties ones I had all of them bar one which was Boba Fett so now I can take that one off and finish that series as well uh speaking of series I could finish and cuties to be fair the next three pins are Three from the Kingdom of Cutie, Kingdom of Cute Evil like villain character pins. That this is the first one I got here. I only needed three, so I got Shere Khan, who's obviously a big favourite character of mine. Um, just a jungle book character, so naturally a favourite. Madam Mim and Lady Tremaine. I didn't do as much pin trading this year as I, as I thought I would do, uh, based on last year, but I think I had a lot more pin, uh, pins to trade last year, which might be part of the reason why. What else? What else? Uh, right, next one, speaking of Jungle Book pins, uh, there was a... I can't think what they It was like, you know those like... Oh, what are they called? Like, you know, you um, like a mach machine that had like big plastic balls with the toys in and stuff and you put a pound in and you spin it and then you get one of the little egg type things you open it up and there's, a there's like a toy inside i'm badly explaining this um but i got one and it was the character it was the cast connections i think it was pins and i got the car one which i think is one of the jungle one of the jungle ones and another great pin that's gonna go on my 
Jungle Book, sorry, pin board. Another Jungle Book pin I picked up was uh, this Hidden Mickey from a few years ago. And this is uh, King Louis. I've got the Chaser one from this series, which I think is like an unfilled blue. But like this is the first one of the cool ones I've got, and I really want the, the whole series of these. But there is the King Louie one. Another uh, Jungle Book pin, I think I have a fair few Jungle Book pins, it turns out, was uh, this one of um, Bagheera, and I think this is from the Disney Wisdom like monthly release, possibly, but there is Bagheera, which obviously favourite Disney character of mine. Um, another Jungle Book pin, I got, I got a fair few Jungle Book pins. Uh, this one is a Munchling pin, and this is one of the reasons I traded for it. And this is the presumably like banana bread or something, King Louie. With pieces of banana, it looks a bit like toast bread. There is King Louie, and that'll go on my Munchlings board as well, because I've got a fair few sort of Munchling pins, which is one I didn't have. And the last one that I, I, is slightly um, Jungle Book themed is this one. This is the Kite Tails logo pin. I was last over in Disneyland, uh, well, well, Disney World, sorry, um, when. Kite Tales was going on, and I've got a few, I've opened a few of the mystery boxes before, as you have seen, but I've got the logo pin. And with it, I also got one of the kites as well that I was still needing. Uh, this is the Nala one, I think it is. I think it's Nala. I'm doubting myself now. It was one of the ones I still needed from that series. I think last year I got the um, Shere Khan and the Bagheera ones as well, which was quite cool. Um, where to go now? Uh, I'm going to move on to... One of the very first pins I ever bought was a um, state pin. So it was one of the older ones with... It was Florida I got with Mickey. And I've now got Nevada as well, which has got Daisy Duck in sort of a like casino dancer type outfit. Still very cool. I don't know how you guys can make that out there, but that's a very cool pin and one that will definitely be going on. I'm trying to work on an American like states pin board, I think at some point, but I haven't got enough pins to justify that at the moment. Leave it with me. Um, Where to go next? Let's do this one. Next one, these are two pins that are both going towards the uh, pins from other, well, pins, pin per movie. And these two more pins, uh, off the list. The first is, this is one of the Reflections pins, which I have been collecting generally as well. That's the Brother Bear pin. Very cool looking one with the guy uh, looking in the water. And one of the three Caballeros, but I've got, I've got a one for three Caballeros. So this is going on my Saludos Amigos, which also features the three Caballeros characters. I think this is Jose, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. It's just the one that I saw and I was like, I was looking specifically for a few of these. Other pins for the collections I'm starting to collect. This is uh, a pumpkin, apparently. This is Tigger as a pumpkin from one of the um, Halloween pin series from a few years ago. But there it is. It's looking very, very cool. And I like I just like the look of that pin, to be fair. A nice big fat sort of um, Tigger face. Animals on pins. That's what that's, I'm, I'm trying to get a connection between each of these pins, so we'll, please bear with me. This one is one of the Epcot Mystery Series, I believe, and this is Crush. Now, obviously, I love Crush's Coast at Paris. They haven't got it in the States parks, but they have got sort of Turtle Talk, which I presume is where this one is drawn from. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try and collect a few more of these whilst I'm out in the States, which I will be when this video goes live. Uh, so we expect a lot of um, Walt Disney World content coming very soon, probably between sort of Christmas and early March now, as it's probably going to be the only things I put out. Um, and, because I've mentioned March, you know, generally is between Christmas and March, Valentine's Day, which is, leads me to another one of the Marvel uh, Valentine's Day pins. And these ones, this is one of the less creepy ones, ironically, given what I'm about to say, but I've got my eye on you, Valentine, which is either a threat or a bit, still a bit sinister, even if it's meant as a compliment. But there we are. I've got my eye on you, Valentine, and it is Doctor Strange, obviously referring to the eye of Agamotto. And the last pin sticking with Valentine's Day, we've got Stitch. We've got Stitch's girlfriend. This is a lengthy pin. Very nice. 
and this is Angel, one of the other experiments that, and obviously supposed to be like the female version of Stitch because she is pink. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to be a critique of, you know, gender stereotypes in Disney, but there we are, apparently this is where it's going. But uh, thank you very much to everyone that traded for, uh, traded with me at Pinsane in Bolton. Uh, you know, thank you to the people who organised the event, Pinsane, really enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully should be able to go next year as well. I'm going to try and do, a, I might try and do a whole weekend at some point, but I think the last couple of years I've had something on on the Saturday. Busy life as a bit of everything kind of guy. Um, but thank you very much. Hope everyone else enjoyed the trades as well. And check out who's video on screen here and here. Subscribe down below and I'll talk to you all next time.